Uh, he is uh, deceptively fast, whatever that means. Uh, I know this. He's a he's a guy that can certainly run uh, when the pads come on. You know, there's there's track guys and there's guys with football speed, and I think he's got really good, efficient football speed. Tom, what's kind of your feeling after this one? You guys piled up a ton of yards, and turnovers, kind of hold it back from what it probably could have been. Yeah, well, you, I mean, you said it best. I mean, we we fumbled the ball in the end zone. We got a bunch of. Uh, of uh, really good drives strung together. You know, we made a lot of yards. We, we stalled a couple times, but, uh, you know, you, you can't take those, fun, those, those, those turnovers away. And they are what they are, and, and that, that's what made the game close. And, uh, but I, I was proud of our guys to, to con continue to battle back and, and uh, continue to make plays. I think JT Barrett has more touchdowns than anyone in the country at this point in the season. Closing in on a ton of records, broke a record for longest run, broke a record for most rushing yards by a quarterback today. Broke? Whoa. Yeah. Well, yeah. Wow. Because yeah. we, we've had a guy here for yeah for two years that could run the ball really good. So. Well, that reaction is what I'm curious about. But how, how, I mean, he's been pretty ridiculous, and this was that today. Yeah, he didn't throw the ball very well. Obviously, the conditions had a little bit to do with that. I was I was disappointed in the way we we threw and caught the ball in the first half. But uh, yeah, he's a guy that, that we're going to lean on. You know, when the game gets tight, uh, the offensive line played a great job. Ezekiel Elliott, uh, Jeff Hireman, and Nick Vanette, you know, did a great job. So, you know, we uh, we wouldn't like to, to run them as much, uh, but obviously teams are, uh, especially in the read game, making him keep it and thinking that uh, that he can uh, that they can tackle him, and uh, he does a good job of, of just being efficient in his runs. Yeah, I mean, this was a top 25 team with a top 20 defense on the road with very unfavorable conditions. And we turned the ball over I don't know how many times and still found a way to win. So it's a, it's a great team effort. It's uh, very encouraging from that standpoint, absolutely, Doug. But um, obviously, we're, we're not going to be able to, to go where we want to go uh, turning the ball over like that. It's really good blocking up front, really good blo blocking downfield, and a guy that carries the ball that kind of knows how to elude tacklers in the open field. And, and you don't have to be 4-3 to have a whatever yard run he had. You just have to have great blocking up front. And like I said, great blocking on the perimeter. And, and, and kind of, you know, he got in the open field and kind of weaved his way around some of the angles that some of those DBs had and, and wound up scoring. So. Yeah, it was exciting. I mean, it was explosive. It was the longest run, I guess, for, for a quarterback in OSU history. But at the same time, there was a, a lot of things that went into it. And, and obviously, his efficient nature uh, actually um, helped that play. Tom, what's it say Two more questions, this? guys. What's it say? And this is kind of similar to Doug's question. What's it say about this offense that's gone on the road two weeks in a row, turned the ball over against top 25 teams on the road and still found a way to win? It means we've got to hang on to the football. Um, again, ex excited about the way our guys responded uh, to a top 20 defense. Let let's give them a ton of credit. I mean, and they deserve it. That, that was a real defense that we played out there. With a, a, they're very well coached, good players, and, and their statistics leading up to this game certainly bore that fact out. But um, like I said, we, we can't go where we want to go turning the ball over like that. Either during the week when you're making your game plan or then today, how much does cold – yeah, it did a little bit going in to, to this week. We didn't think that the, the snow would be continuous as, as it was. We thought it might snow here and there and uh, felt like that the, the wind wouldn't be that big a deal. But it, it certainly affected JT in the throw game a little bit in the first half. I'm not making any excuses. Uh, but, you know, uh, it went into it a little bit heading in. But then certainly in the second half, uh, after we kind of saw the effect it was having, uh, played a part in how we were adjusting in the second half. Tom, how much fun do you guys have hoping you find it at JT Speed? I think Irvin Cobb is about five guys. Do you like to make fun of him a little bit about that? Uh, I like to make fun of him about a lot of things. 
because uh, he's really good natured. He's a he's a kid that doesn't take anything personal. He's got uh, very thick skin when it comes to even being coached really hard. You know, when it's time to be serious and being coached really hard. And then the lighthearted ribbing, obviously, he takes it in stride and every now and again dishes one back. That's pretty good too.